Hi, Pimper, it's Jess on TV, back with another video. And first of all, before anything else, I'd like to send my condolences to Fernando Rickson's family. Obviously, hearing of his death was a big shock. And to be someone that had from to have multi neurons disease for that long and to keep fighting is absolutely a big respect. And yeah, hopefully, now. As people have been saying, and we said last night at the game, you know, hopefully I can, you know, be pain, have pain free, and, you know, obviously now, like I said before, his thoughts are with his family, and I hope they're okay. Going on, Rangers obviously in Europa League last night against Feyenoord in the first group game. And Rangers won one nil goal from Ojo. The start living for Rangers last night was McGregor Nets, Tavener, Goldson, Helander, Barisic, Davis Jack, Kamara, Ojo, Morelos and Arfield. And Rangers start well the first couple of minutes to get a penalty it looks Good, it looks like Rangers could be 1 0 up, you know, even before half an hour. And for whatever reason, Tav hits the post, misses, and hits the post and goes out. Ibrox, obviously, you know, it would almost seem kind of ironic that, with obviously the minute silence and the, two, the minute of pause on the second minute that the number two for Rangers would have scored the penalty. Unfortunately, it didn't, but Rangers kept pressing and the Rangers finally get the goal. Kamara tackles one of the far north players. Ojo picks the ball up on the left side, turns, takes a couple of steps and hits an absolute rocket into the net. To make it one now, and it looks good. From there, Rangers keep pressing. Arfield hit the crossbar. Morelos was unlucky with a couple of chances. Rangers finished the first half looking decent, and second half, fine order all of a sudden. Will start to play more. They start to look to be pressing a lot more than the first half, and during the game, start to look a lot threatening. I know that from either listening or seeing them in the Champions League, that obviously Jurgensen, their main striker, was on the bench. But when he came on, you could see him kind of saying, pet the balls to wing, stick it in the box. But thankfully, Rangers kept him quiet. But they still seemed to shake at times, Rangers. And Morelos had a couple of chances as well. Arfield again, hitting the crossbar. Morelos shooting wide. But overall, a good win. And on a night, obviously, that was mainly for Fernando Rickson, Rangers get the win and the three points, but overall, McGregor had a, I'd say a good game. Whenever he was needed, he saved or was clearing the ball. Tavernar was okay, gave the ball away a few times. Seemed to be okay, but not his best. Goldson seemed 50-50 at times. At one minute, he was getting absolutely destroyed. Kind of more of the second half, he seemed to be okay. He was starting to get better. Helander looked to be a guy that had been at Rangers for about four or five years. He seemed to not be phased. He was absolutely fantastic. Barisic, I think, was a bit, was had a good game. I think the first half was quite only. I think Rangers were probably expecting Final to probably all pace and Bolton down the wing and but overall had a good game. Davis had a good game. He 
seem to really help midfield. Same with Jack and Kamara. Absolutely work the socks off. Running, same as Arfield as well, had a good game. Morelos, as he had a good game, even though there wasn't much service to him. But did okay. Ojo did well for about 74 minutes when Barker came on for him, who had a good game. Arfield obviously going off in the 90th minute. Friend of King, I think it was just about time wasting. But like I say, nothing was mentioned about man of the match. But to me, I'd, I know there was some people say McGregor, which I get. Some people said Ryan Jack, which I think in a way was possible. Rangers looked a lot, lot better in the take and even from the first minute. Kamara played well, not play much. He obviously got subbed for a rebel, which I think was just to give both of them time. But a rebel was okay, didn't have his best. But obviously, I think it was more of just trying to shut up shop and get the three points, which they did. But to me, Hollander, man of the match, I think he was someone that, if it basically... Nine times out of ten, he was the person that didn't let Feyenoord get past. He was the one that was blocking, clearing, and to me, he was man of the match. And, yeah, Rangers now go to, I think it's Switzerland to play Young Boys in the second uh, Europa League game. The next game for Rangers will be... Sunday away to St Johnston, so there'll be a video round about Sunday, if not Monday. But yeah, big thanks to everyone that's been watching. If you're new or you haven't, please just support the channel. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, just shows you to support the channel. And yeah, like I say, RIP Fernando Rickson, and I'm out.